I just 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 got <laughs> the Tarte uh, Rainforest After Dark palette. The the FedEx man just dropped it off because I ordered it from the Tarte website. And so I Instagrammed a picture and loads of you guys are like, video! <laughs> Luckily enough he came before I put on my makeup so I was like, why not film it real quick and let you guys know what I think. So I went ahead and did that and that's the look that's on my face right now with the um, color face products and the eyeshadow. So if you're interested in that and like a demo for suppression type of deal, it'll be towards the end of the video. But other than that, this here is the box. It's it's kind of cool. It's got um, uh, embossed snake printing and then a snake on it. And the actual uh, disc palette is cool as well. It looks like that. And it has a little gem where the snake eye is on the front. Um, just a plastic um, casing to it. And I'm not 100% sure what I paid for this because I use Mr. Rebates and Ebates, so I think that was about 11-12% cash back. But there was a coupon code on, I think it was Mr. Rebates for 20% off of the Tarte website. So I probably saved just over 30% on it. Um, I know it's on Sephora right now as well. I'm not sure where else um, it's at. Inside you have got a, you have a highlighter and this is called Champagne and there is 0.14 ounces of product in there so pretty decent amount and then the bronzer over here is Park Avenue Princess and it is a matte at 0.14 ounces and then the blush in the middle is a full size at 0.21 ounces and then each one of your eyeshadows which there are six of are 0.035 ounces a piece. This is a Tarte Blush and Captivating in full size and this says 0 0.20 ounces of product so there's actually a tiny bit hair more blush product in here than the full size um, regular blushes. One thing I don't particularly care for on Tarte's palettes I guess is they come with a plastic sheet overlay on there saying the names which um, they're kind of just a pain. I wish that they were printed somewhere on the actual palette because now like what I've done with a lot of my palettes is glued the sheet on, like on top of the mirror because you kind of want to know what's in the palette especially if you know you want to make reference to other things um, but it's kind of a pain to have it in there and if you like to use the mirror that's not a good idea either. <laughs> so there is a plastic sheet that says the names on it. The blush in here is called Unleashed which I have not heard a Tarte Amazonian clay blush um, in reference to that name yet so I want to say it's a new blush and then I noticed too that they're not calling their um, products Amazonian clay anymore they're referring to them as colored clay so like on the back of the box here it says rainforest after dark colored clay eye and cheek palette so I don't know if they're just trying to you know spice it up with a, a new name or what but they're not using Amazonian clay they're using colored clay so on to the actual products in the palette. The highlight and the bronzer are the exact same highlight and bronzer that are in the Aqua Lilies for Tarte. So just for reference, if you guys do have that, those are the same products. Uh, the champagne highlight is like, uh, it's like a, a more subtle version of Mary Luminizer, that white gold sheen. Uh, it is l light and bright enough in color to not deepen up on me, so I quite like the highlighter. The bronzer is a really good... Um, matte bronzer. It doesn't pull too orange. It doesn't pull too red. It's just a um, a real bronze, bronzy brown. And again, these are the three products that are on my face today for blush, highlight, and contour. The Unleashed blush is kind of a muted, um, it's kind of a muted rose shade, I guess, and it is a matte as well as, again, the bronzer is matte. And then for the shadows, you have got three matte shadows and three, um, well, two, I guess, sparkle they're not like overly shimmery but they have a sheen to them and then this one this gold here is a real metallic which i will swatch them for you and then there are three mattes in the palette i did use four of the eyeshadows in the eyeshadow look uh the metallic one uh great pigmentation you know real shiny finish is what is on the lid and then the purple shade blended out real nice and so did this this one right here I have to make reference to my piece of plastic, which is kind of hard to hear. The um, the plum away with me, up to no gold, and make a mauve were very quite nice. Um, this shade right here is a matte shade, and it is the lightest shade eyeshadow type shade. It's called Bare to Explore. Uh, it's not particularly real light, light bright. It is what is underneath my brow bone. So I was thinking about using the uh, highlight shade underneath the brow because it is the lightest. You could use it on the lid too which is kind of convenient in this palette but as far as just you know using the eyeshadows for the sake of the eyeshadows uh, this shade right here 
Um, for one, it's not super, super highlighty. Like I said, it's it's underneath my brow. It's like a um, a nude rose type of a shade, but um, it created hard pan real fast, and I had to keep dipping my brush in there and dipping my brush in there to pick a product. Um, it went on nice. I didn't have no trouble blending out the deeper shades throughout the uh, crease. Um, with the shadow, it was just kind of hard to pick up the product and put it on the eye. I actually, which you'll see in the, the demo, I had to take and scrape off the surface because I wasn't able to pick enough product up on my brush to do the other eye. <laughs> um, I do use some pretty soft um, brushes, the Wayne Goss brushes, um, but I guess that's kind of me just kind of sticking up for the eyeshadow, I guess. You could use a stiffer brush and it might work a little bit better but um, I don't think you should have to do that with shadows. So um, I did go ahead and swatch these two with my fingers to see if they came off like that, and they didn't. These are the other two matte shades right here. So uh, yet to use them. I think they're gonna perform better than this one, but I can't say for sure. So <laughs> let me zoom into the palette and give you guys some swatches. So here's what the palette looks like up close. It is showing up pretty true to color right there. So let me go ahead and swatch the highlight and the bronzer. And again, one of the downfalls about the way that these are kind of uh, focused there, uh, way that they're kind of in there, is you do have to use a smaller brush and be sure to concentrate your brush in that area to make sure that you don't pick up any, you know, dark eyeshadow or blush per se or any any of the other products because they are fairly close together. So there is the bronzer and the highlight. Right there, again, there, those are the two products that are on my face. I'm going to go ahead and do the blush, and it is right there. So really, you know, almost, I guess the whole palette kind of reminds me of earthy, I guess, kind of earthy tones. Then I'll try to swatch this one. I'm pushing my finger pretty hard into the pan here to get some swatching out of it. Right there. So there are those three shades. I do think that the light, rosy mauve neutral shade needs a little... I need some. <laughs> and then the gold and the other two browns, which are both mattes. These two browns are matte, and then this guy right here is matte. This one's pretty metallic, and these two have a sheen to them. So those are those ones. So those swatch pretty good. I have more hope for the, the other two mattes, the, those two brown mattes right here. I have more hope for the for those two than the uh, this one right here. But the palette as a whole, I think, is a really a really wearable palette um, with a few shades that you can spice it up a little bit if you're not used to too much color. But uh, the bronzer and the highlight are both nice, and so is the blush. Real wearable type colors to me. The the biggest disappointment was this shade right here. I'm hoping that that I scraped off that top layer. I'm hoping that as I continue to use it, it will perform better or like it'll be easier to pick up product on the brush. Other than that, the palette performed uh, pretty good. I do like the look that came out of it, which is one of the things that I like about these disc type palettes from Tarte, because every time I go to use one, I use all the face products with the eyeshadows and, you know, as a whole, I use the palette and the looks always come out um, nice, like it all works and it vibes together, you know? <laughs> and then too, real quick, I didn't really have hardly any fallout, which is nice. So if you're interested in the look that's on my face and seeing how these products performed upon first use, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. So I'm going to start out with this highlighter right here. And the shade that it says on the little plastic thing is Champagne. And I'm just going to use that on a Chikohoto highlight brush. I'm just going to dip the tip in here. Like so. And I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my cheekbones tiny bit above the tip of the brow, right there, a little bit above the lip, chin. The bronzer in the palette is Park Avenue Princess and it's the matte one. I'm going to go ahead on a Goss number 13 brush because of the size of the pan I can't use my big fluffy bronzer brush. So I'm going to use this one which I quite like anyway and I'm going to just dip it in here. and go ahead and kind of contour and bronze my face with it. A little bit up here, 
And I have this bronzer in a couple other um, either palettes or like travel size ones. And it is a nice bronzer too, so. Matte and kind of a true bronzy bronze, not too orange, not too red. Put it on my ear. Then I'm just going to take my Real Techniques um, multitask brush that I used to put on my Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. I'm just going to um, buff the edges out and kind of blend in that bronzer. Then for a little something extra, I'm just going to take a Chikohoto contour brush and dip it into the bronzer again and just do a little bit of concentration in the back here. Just kind of bring it forward. Nothing too extreme, just kind of like that. <laughs> now let's dip into this blush here and it is called Unleashed. I haven't heard of it in the other line, so. And this is a Goss number 11 brush. I'm just going to dip into that, tap off my brush, and I'm going to start in the back because I'm not sure how pigmented this is going to be. And then bring it kind of forward. Pick up a tiny bit more. Kind of just a muted rosy shade. Then I'm just going to finish off the face with uh, Hourglass's Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light on a Chikohoto powder brush. Just kind of buff it all over the face. And it just kind of ties everything together. Now I'm going to prime the lids with the RMS Uncover Up in Double Zero from the lash line to underneath the brow. Now let's dip into some of these eyeshadows. I'm going to take this gold shade right here, which is called Up to No Gold, <laughs> um, on a gauze number 18 brush, just a flat shader. And I'm going to pack this one all over the lid. It seems to be quite metallic. Tap off excess. And just pack it on the lid. So just kind of a shimmery metallic gold shade. I kind of want to use the Champagne Highlighter as a highlight because it's like the lightest shade in the palette, but I want to use as much shadows kind of as I can in the look as well. So I'm going to dip into this shade right here, which is called uh, Bear to Explore. And on a Goss Number 3 brush, I'm going to, and it's a matte, I'm going to put this underneath the brow. It's kind of a pinky beige color. Kind of stuffing my brush in there kind of hard. I feel like it's kind of packed in there just kind of hard. <laughs> Let's blend this here. It's kind of already forming hard pan, like that hard surface over the top, which I might have to scrape it off because I'm having a hard time getting enough product to do the this side. <laughs> I just keep, and I haven't swatched it or nothing, I just stuck a brush directly into the eyeshadow. I'm going to have to take this spoolie and scrape some off because I'm not getting enough um, product on my brush. That is not cool. <laughs> so I just went and scraped that off with a spoolie there. Go back in there again <laughs> and try this again here. I'm going to go purple. I'm going to pick up this uh, kind of a shimmery purple shade. It's called Plum, we, plum Me Away <laughs> on a Goss number 6 brush. I'm just going to pick that up. And I'm going to go into the crease with it. Pick up a little bit more. It's got some like shininess to it, but it's not over the top shimmery. Like, or metallic, like kind of like the lid shade, but it is blending nice. Then on a gloss number 20 brush, I'm going to pick up the same plum shade here and sharpen up my outer corner. Tapping off the excess. Now I'm going to go into this shade right here, which I have to keep looking at this little plastic sheet. It's called Make a Mauve. 
<laughs> right here. And uh, on a gloss number four brush, I'm just going to blend out that crease color with that. Put it in front of the purple and kind of blend it all the way out. And then I'm going to go into the crease one more time. I'm not going to pick up any more product, but I'm just going to go in there and intensify that a little bit. So the other colors performed uh, pretty good. Um, I feel like this is a really important shade in the palette, though, so um, I might have to scrape it off one more time. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't keep doing that, because that'll... That really suck. <laughs> so for lips, I just decided to go with a go-to lip combo, and that is the Clinique Sky Violet Lip Liner and Max Snob Lipstick. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill them in with Max Snob, which I probably could use a new one. <laughs> So there is the overall finished look using the Rainforest After Dark palette from Tarte. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye. This is what I'm dealing with right here. Every day. Lunacy. <laughs> what are you doing, Cruiser? <laughs> Stretching out. <laughs> Look at him. He's off his rocker. Cruiser. What's up? <laughs>